I would ask a financial accountant in an interview um, is to provide me an instance where you've had to come a really technically challenging issue, um, how you manage this and how you resolve the issue. What I would be looking for is for them to demonstrate an aptitude of autonomy, of going above and beyond, and really looking for a solution rather than a problem being provided to their managers. What's the difference between a margin and a markup? Um, and I think that's very important because I like the candidates, A, to explain it, and then provide clear evidence that they can communicate what that difference is to me, because it's amazing the number of organisations that, that where that is not understood. I think my number one question would be, um, why do you think that your skills and experience will add value to my organisation? And um, what evidence do you have to think this? It's a really hard question to answer, but I'm looking for the interviewee to demonstrate the following key things. One, that they've read the job description carefully and understand the role and what skills and experience are required to fulfill that role successfully. Um, two, that they can link their abilities to the role. And three, it also allows them to use the STAR competency framework being situation, task, action and result, which means they can tell their own story um, and demonstrate how they've been successful or, or maybe not. Um, failure is just a learning process. So I'd want to be talking to someone who can admit their failings um, but tell me what they've learned from them and why and you know how they've then behaved differently. I offer quite a relaxed interview approach um, and in that I'm really looking to one get to know her, what your knowledge base is, two what you know about the business and three a little bit more about you as a person and individual. Um, so I always ask the same question to pretty much every candidate whatever level they are and it's tell me something interesting that isn't on your CV and then explain to me why you've told me that. There's no set answer to it, but it tells me a hell of a lot about your character. I would ask a question about their understanding and usage of NPV, net present value, in evaluating a new business undertaking. I'd hope that this would open up into a general discussion about weighted average cost to capital, capital asset pricing models, and most importantly, risk. And risk would be the basis of my next question. One of the questions I ask and uh, when I interview is, is towards the end of the interview um, uh, and I'll ask them a, a, a scenario. So you're in Dragon's Den, you've got 30 seconds to pitch to me. Why are you the best person for this role? Um, and the question there is really designed to give the candidate an opportunity to summarise uh, the interview, summarise their skills and and then in a sort of pithy 30 second response uh, really nail homes uh, why they think they are they are the best person what are your career aspirations i think in the answer that tells me about drive ambition passion term the person could be in the role and i think for me it would help with uh, assessing the overall team fit the talent and succession planning